Hello and welcome back with another SPS video and today we're back on Athens PS, one of the coolest custom servers out there and today we're going to be showcasing a brand new unique content piece these guys released, absolutely beautiful. To celebrate this video we are going to be giving away one of these beautiful Sin of Envy scrolls, these are super super XP and required to fight the brand new boss which we're going to be showcasing in a second. Really quick, if you would like to check out the server, the links are down below. When you log in for the first time, definitely make sure to type column column refer to the chat and then with the code walkers, you guys will get a beautiful donate rank and also a bunch of beautiful start items. So make sure to claim that when you log in for the first time. And I would say, let's get right into the video. Athens update. I'm always so excited because these guys put always such unique content down the freaking line. And today we're going to be having, first things first, the brand new lady diane diane i'm not really sure how to pronounce it a boss being released this is also the last of the seven deadly sins bosses and um, yeah to lock this boss will require to obtain the beautiful scroll fragments that drops from the creel i'm gonna be giving away one of these scrolls as mentioned before so definitely make sure to be entering the beautiful giveaway to win one of these beautiful scrolls right here smash the like button comment your name down below and be subscribed to my channel and um, yeah after you guys get this beautiful scroll right there you guys will be able to teleport to the beautiful Diane. We'll go ahead and kill her in a second. Here are the forges for each part. As we can see right here, these three bad boys will be making the beautiful scroll to enter the D. So what you want to get is part one, part two, and also part three. After you guys get all the three parts, you guys will be able to forge these bad boys into this scene of the Envy scroll right here. Pretty fucking hard to obtain, but again, you can win it through my beautiful giveaway. Once you've claimed the scroll, you can teleport by using the teleport interface. So we have two beautiful modes. So the easy one right here, there are two difficulties to this solo only boss fight. Easy mode and hard mode. Diana easy mode has 1.7 million hp as we can see right there so mechanics wise a green wave will spawn on one end of the map and you will have to run through the opening to avoid the damage okay that's pretty fucking cool as you can see right there is the lovely opening so it's a sort of like uh this freaking burning waves we also have seen that on the Q QBD, for example, and many other bosses on RuneScape that actually have this mechanic. Uh, chances to drop your prayers. Okay, so the end will spawn a rock pillars that will uh, will have to destroy before you can continue damaging her. Okay, very interesting. Sort of like uh, freaking next. The end will spawn the pods below. You also will need to move out the way to avoid the damage. Okay, if you stand on top of these freaking pillars, then you guys will be pretty fucked up right there. And then we also got the beautiful drop tables right here on the easy mode. As you can see, you guys can get the Diana piece, but they are broken. You guys can get Odo dolls, you get lots of great drachma, upgrade stones, cash boxes, and also the beautiful Gijun. Uh broken as well. We'll get into these items in a second. Then we got the Lady Diana heart mode mechanic. So Diana attacks hard, save attacks as easy, but deals more damage plus more HP. So as you can see, almost double the HP, and Diana will use the same mechanics as easy. But it's going to be hitting much harder. Heart mode drop table. Dian will spawn a sacred stone, okay? Which will upgrade the 7DS weapons to a tier 14 in a future update. Holy freaking moly, dude. This has also been added to King and Ban as well. As you can see right here. The art beautiful armor set as well, as you can see right here. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at these stats, dude. Holy shit. 5,700 max set already right there, just without any other freaking uh, item besides the freaking set. Set bonuses interface well, I freaking love it. So as you can see right here, we have bonuses when you guys have the entire set on you. So 5 out of 5 items, you guys can see right it's going to give you 90% drop rate bonus. If you guys have 3 pieces, 45, and if you have all the 8 pieces, you guys will be having 225% fucking drop rate. That is nuts. Then we got old Sai, the beautiful uh, set bonus. Also going to be giving you guys the beautiful 5% melee damage, plus 10%, and plus 15 for 8 pieces right there. Absolutely lovely. So you are able to forge the broken armor into the fixed equivalent in it, the forge, as you can see right here. Just click the Diana one, and then you guys can see all the beautiful requirements. I'm going to be showing you that in a second as well. And yeah. That's where you guys will be able to get all the beautiful items. So if you go in game to the beautiful egg right here, you guys can right click and click on forge. In here you guys will be seeing these beautiful uh, items you guys will be able to upgrade or forge. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you guys can find the beautiful, uh, well, latest pieces in game. Including also the other piece right there. So 250 knighthood uh, to 150 warrior emblems as well as the broken pieces to get the full one. Same goes also to the beautiful weapons right here. As we can see, broken 70s weapons can be... Fixed slash in the forging interface. Warhammer Jijin right there, as we can see. 50 quadrillion cash and column, column upgrade. Holy freaking moly. So this is pretty interesting as well for me, since I'm a fairly new player, well, mid-tier player, I would say. Voting rewards have been buffed again. We have drastically decreased the cost 
for items in the voting shop, such as the Oda Dots, which are now only 15 vote points. Additionally, we've also increased the treasure vault time from 30 seconds to one minute from voting. We've also added a, f a way for new players, okay, for players to view all the possible vote rewards type in Column Column well, rewards is very nice in game as well and yeah overall just a freaking big buff on voting so make sure to do that boys also vote caskets can be obtained every day from voting and have some pretty juicy loot i've got i've got one today on my Man account as well it was pretty fucking awesome dude some juicy loot such as the monkey cape which is a tier 15 cape that can only be obtained from the casket oh my freaking lord look at that dude uh, now freaking 1 in 2,000 chance. That is insane. And the worst thing you guys can get is Great Draft Map, which is super fucking OP. That is literally Olympus points for some really crazy items. So I definitely should be voting every single day because it is literally worth it. Huge goodie bag box and YouTube boss buff. Okay, we've introduced the brand new huge goodie bag box to the YouTube boss loot table. We've also increased the damage cap from 400, uh, sorry, from 200 to 400 and buffed the loot table as a whole. Okay, as you can see right here, huge goodie bag added and also the loot tables has been adjusted by a lot, which is freaking awesome. All right, here we got a very cool card piece coming back. The owner dart boss is back. That's right, the owner dart boss is back with a new and improved drop table. As expected with the owner dart boss, we've reintroduced the owner darts to the game. However, this time the darts can only be used to kill the owner boss. Players can teleport to the owner bosses through the beautiful teleport interface or by typing column column owner boss in there. So, this is a beautiful zone right here. I freaking love owner boss. It's so fucking OP to farm them. Obviously, you guys need owner darts for that one. Uh, these are the beautiful drop tables right here, as you can see, which are in fucking insane. Including owner selection, uh, Escanor selection, Dian selection, killing selection, and band selection. So, best and slot items right here. Selection main, you guys will be able to click on these bad boys. Oh, this is my Iron Man account. There's the main account. And then you guys will be able to choose one item. For example, when I go for the freaking helm, then you guys can go out and choose the freaking uh, plate legs or plate body, whatever items you have you missing pretty much. So, that's super freaking OP. And I can definitely recommend you to go out and farm the beautiful owner dark bosses if you guys have the requirements for that. And two small additions right there, the donation stars right there. These are new items that will be used to spice up donation deals. More in the future on that one. Just make sure to check out the donation deals that are hosting on the beautiful Discord. And a bunch of custom items being added. Shout out to Mr. Tudor right here with this uh, beautiful Korean bay and Kyla's Ice Ice Baby right there. And then we also have a couple of uh, zombie invasion changes. Super amazing content piece they've added in the last update. If you guys have checked that one out as well. So as you can tell, Athens putting a lot of freaking time and work into their content. Freaking almost weekly updates right here. Huge content pieces. And again, if you guys want to give this show a try, the links are down below. All right, we're stacked up. We'll go ahead and use the beautiful uh, scroll now. And we've unlocked Dian, and we can actually go ahead and fuck her up. All right, I've never killed her before. I have no fucking idea if we'll be able to kill her. But um, yeah, I guess let's freaking find out. So go open up the beautiful uh, monster that in the scroll the way to the bottom. And then you guys will be finding the beautiful Lady Dian right there. Owner bosses again, brand new. Oh man, this drop tables are crazy. And then you guys can teleport the right to the beautiful location. You can choose easy or heart mode. And we'll just go for the easy one for the beautiful showcase. And here she is, Lady Diane. And we can actually go ahead and kill her pretty easily because we are just fucking OP, as we can see right there, with also the elite Talos necklace and the Talos ring. With Soul Split, we should be fucking Gucci. So, our first mechanic right there, we got the beautiful. Uh, Freaking, oh my goodness, oh my freaking goodness. The asset pools right here come in as well as the beautiful pillars. So you definitely want to stand in front of them uh, rather than uh, sideways. Otherwise, you will probably be fucking dying. And yeah, after they're dead, you guys can start attacking them again. Brian, it's spawning again. Are you fucking, you know what, fuck it. We'll just take the damage here and hopefully soul split will survive us. But yeah, if you guys don't have this fucking OP gear, then you definitely want to go ahead and dodge these. Because it's so freaking open. And yes, sir, we're about to fucking kill the first time Lady Diane right here. For my gear right here, it's probably just taking a minute or so. But for all the boys who will not have fast slot items, this will be a freaking fucking challenge. But as you can see, absolutely nice loot right there. And um, yeah, freaking nice. And you guys know, I'm always down for a challenge. Let's see if we can actually kill the beautiful heart mode as well. Good luck to Alrighty, here we go. Also, these custom animations as well right here. Jesus freaking Christ, 2.2 million HP. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so we can actually see whenever the asset pools come or the freaking uh, pillars that we have to kill. Let's see how long this will take. What the hell, dude? These are a shit ton of freaking pillars right here. Oh, my Lord. Okay, at least we're standing on the right side. So we should be a right, Brian. Look at all these freaking spawns here. 
Oh my freaking lord, dude. This is insane. Oh my god. Dude, and she's back at full HP. Crazy, crazy stuff. Yo, and actually got one shot there with an 85 hit. GG. Alrighty, second try right here. Let's see if we can kill her. Yo, look at all these waves here. But yes, we've managed to kill the heart Lady Diane right there. And we've just got three beautiful loot, right? And the last thing we're going to be showing you today is a beautiful uh, donator. Uh, sorry, donator, right? And the last thing we're going to be showing you for today is the beautiful Oda Dart Blasters right here. As you can see, a couple of people are already farming it. That you guys can only kill with a beautiful Oda Dart. If you get lucky, 1 in 20,000 chance or 1 in 50,000 or 1 in 75,000, you guys can get literally best in slot selection items right here. So, good luck farming these bad boys as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, would like to enter the giveaway. Smash the like button, comment, and give names down below, and be subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you guys all around. Thanks so much for tuning in. Love y'all. Have a good one. And peace out.